to Zuckerberg's Meta AI just launched the largest version of Code Llama that actually ends up beating GPT 4's original human evil score. So in this video, we're going to understand about what this Code Llama 70 billion parameter model is, and if you were to use it, what does it take, and also what might have been the cost that Meta AI might have spent on building this Code Llama 70 billion. To start with, Code Llama is not a new model. There have been like Code Llama models before, so we have had. 7 billion parameter, 13 billion parameter and 34 billion parameter model. And these are not like one of the best coding models. The family, the base models were always something that people used to build other models on top of it. For example, in fact, like one of the best coding models that we have these days are like Find coding model or a deep seek coder. And Find is basically a fine tuned version of Code Llama. So the way Meta AI releases these models are not necessarily to be the top or best of the best, but rather they want to build a good pre-trained model and release it to the community so the community can fine tune and build a better model. That, With that in mind, if you actually see the Code Llama, today we have got three different versions of Code Llama. The 70 billion base model, the 70 billion Python model, and the 70 billion instruct model. And how are these models created? That is quite a simple for you to understand. So Llama 2 was the base foundation model. And for the 1 trillion, so if you talk about 70 billion model, 1 trillion tokens were used for code training. And that code training goes into three different pipelines. One is just long context fine tuning with 20 billion tokens. And that becomes the base code Llama. And then it is instruction fine tuned with 5 billion tokens that is code llama instruct and there is a special code training from code training instead of long context fine tuning and instruction fine tuning you just train it with additional python code and then long context fine tuning and that is the 70 billion code llama python model so this is the base model which is from llama 2 with code training this is the instruction fine tune model and this is the code llama python model and if you wait to see how these models are performing, and uh, that is where it is quite surprising to see that on human evil, it is a benchmark that evaluates the model's coding ability, especially in Python. So if you see on human evil, code llama instruct model, 70 billion parameter model scores above GPT-4. So I'm going to just come back quickly. What do I mean by that above thing? But for now, let's say human evil pass one, GPT-4 reported 67 and Code Llama Instruct is 67.8. At this point, you might be very excited that this is the best model that we have got. To give you a spoiler, uh, one of the models absolutely people hate is Google Gemini. And that model has scored 74.4% on human evil, while GPT-4 was 67.0. This is Gemini Ultra. So this is Gemini Pro. So that means nobody has seen Ultra yet. So if you forget Ultra for a moment, then the current best model that you might have had from Google is 67.7. So even then, Code Llama is actually better than that. Then there are other models like Claude 2, Deep Seek Coders. All these models have got better human level performance. But one of the reasons why these models have got better human level performance is because they have also fine tuned with latest data. So I'm not sure like it is necessarily better coding model, but at least now if you take it with the face value, then you can literally say that this beats GPT-4 with respect to human level. The catch here is though, this GPT-4 score is what GPT-4 originally reported. And this was originally reported, not necessarily today's score. So somebody has to rerun the GPT-4 human evil with the latest API for them to understand the actual score. But based on the reported score, let's say Code Llama 70 billion instruct model beats GPT-4 and a lot of other models. And if you talk about MBVP, which is like most basic Python programming, I guess, then that in that particular test, Code Llama Python models, the 70 billion parameter model beats everything else. And then you have got the multilingual human evil and Code Llama Instruct, of course, scores the best. So the model that we have got today is absolutely one of the best large programming models that you could have ever asked. And once again, the idea here is, I think Meta AI is not trying to necessarily give you the model that is something that you would end up using every single day. Rather, Meta AI wants to give you a model 
that the community will take and further start using it like for example fine tuning it and then understanding how to use this with the respective data set for you to have a better model i guess that's that's basically the philosophy but they have got a very weird way of releasing it once again you have to go fill the form with uh, selecting the model and then you will get the model downloaded so the model that you would get here is not transformers format this is the core meta ea llama format but if you want the transformers format you can directly go to hugging faces model hub and then download the model directly from here all the model weights are available here so you can go here and then see for you to use this model you would really really need like a very very large computer because this will not work on small computers this is a 70 billion parameter model i think the total file is like uh, 135 gb or something like that so you would need literally a very large ram for you to run it like if you if you are lucky enough to have that then you you are one of the luckiest person on the planet but otherwise if you are like me maybe wait for the bloke to quantize and then release it but even then i'm not sure what would be the size and then whether you can fit the model necessarily but most likely the two bit quantization should be well enough for you to fit so now in terms of the license if you see this is custom commercial license and it still goes back to the same license with which meta released before so for you to use it with commercial uh, license your monthly active users of whatever product that you are using should be lesser than 700 ma 700 million ma so in one month your mao monthly active user should not be greater than 700 million i mean if, if if my users are more than 700 million i would probably build my own proprietary uh, model i guess maybe yeah the jokes aside mark zuckerberg doesn't want you to use it if you're google or some other company well and good i understand it other than that i think you are completely free to use it uh, nobody is going to stop you from using it you are free to take this model and then fine tune it with all the other data set we have got a lot of people are already excited to see what a finned fine tune model would look like or a deep seeker coder based on llama model would look like but nevertheless if you see this is a great model uh, i don't have an option to test this model yet i'm definitely looking forward to see different ways to test this model but at least uh, in terms of purely in terms of benchmark this is actually a good model and the model seems to be doing really good with respect to the human evil benchmark now coming to the final question that i wanted to understand is meta ai has released this model for free i mean we all know that this is free it's open weight uh, at the end of the day most of the companies on the planet can easily use it so what has been the logic or cost for them to build this model let's do a quick math so they said in aggregate training all 12 code llama models required 1400 thousand gpu hours of computation on hardware type a180 gb so let's say a180 gb 1400 thousand hours is that how you call it yeah i guess like it's like 1.4 million anyways now somewhere 2022 oracle said that the nvidia a180 gb would cost about like four dollars so now just doing a very basic like mundane math you would know that 1400,000 GPU hours would approximately means you are hitting somewhere about $5 million. Along with that, this is power cost. So we have not estimated the power. We have not estimated manpower. We have purely estimated the GPU cost that would hit somewhere about like $5, $5 million for, uh, for, 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 for all, these, all these models that you have got. So let's do a quick math see this is like 5.6 million us dollars along with the power cost along with the human manpower cost this is huge this is massive a lot of people are already questioning like what is the motivation behind mark zuckerberg releasing this for free but i guess maybe uh developer goodwill so i want to have good faith on mark zuckerberg um, or at least like if it is the bad faith the only bad faith is to literally crush google and open ai which uh, i don't mind honestly at this point so either way thanks to the flag bearer of open source at this point which surprisingly is mark zuckerberg and we have got a completely brand new coding model that is trained with one trillion tokens and also comes in three different variants and is going to be a lot of compute for it to run but probably one of the best models we have got beats gpt4 on human evil which is like slightly a shady stuff at this point but again let's see what the fine-tuned models look like and see you in another video happy prompting